Gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Monday Show. My name is Nice Peter, and I'm glad that you're here. Today, I would like to talk to you about teamwork. Our team, this team. I don't know if you knew this, but we have a team, and it's a good one. Let me explain. Uh, getting ready for this last Epic Rap Battle history, where I played Freddie Mercury, one of my great personal heroes, was a big honor and a big challenge for me. Freddie Mercury is, is a strong man. He's a strong person. He's a, he's a physically fit gentleman. He bounds and leaps all over the place, and he looks trim and fit. It. And I had more of a lumpy beanpole physique going into the project, and I was really determined to get into better shape. Turns out, working out is hard, really hard. I would be in the middle of like a five gajillion mile run, and I'd say, ah, I can't, I can't, I got stuff, I can't make it. And you know what voice? It came into my head, you know who got me to keep going? It was you. It was people out there. I, I was able to think and remember that there's people out there who believe in me and believe in what I'm doing and believe that I can do it. And it would get me to pick back up and straighten my back and imaginary music like the Rocky theme would start playing in my head and I would keep going. And I wanted to tell you how much that meant to me. And at the same time, I started getting tweets and messages and comments from people saying that because I was exercising and doing something that was hard for me, it was inspiring them to do something that was hard for them. And maybe it's because they want to exercise, or maybe they want to play music and they see me playing music. And I realized that's when two people and groups of people are helping each other, that's a team. That's, that's what you call a team. So we have a team, and it's a really good one, and it's a really cool one. And I think that in the name of that team, we can do a lot of positive things. I realize that we are a, a group of people that gather on, on some sort of thought level and we can accomplish things. So I wanted to to take our team out for a test drive, a test spin. So I entered us into a contest. It's the Supernote contest based here on YouTube. I thought it would be a good way to start. If you're not familiar with Supernote, it's uh, some friends of mine named Rhett and Link. They do this thing called Supernote, which is basically where as many people as possible get together and they go like this. For as long as they can and they hold the longest note possible and each team all the people who hold a note they gather all those videos and they make a super note out of it well i don't think i'm explaining this very well and i knew i wasn't luckily they made a video that explains it much better and there's a link to it uh, down there and this is a good thing for us we can express ourselves as a team and show the world of youtube that we can hold a long note and that there's a lot of us and we can do it in creative interesting ways and that when we set out to do something we pull it off in style there's a lot of big youtube teams competing in the super note contest it is a friendly rivalry but i want to kick the crap out of it and i think we can do it now i know that we need a team name and this is something i've struggled with for a long time i was like what do people who watch my stuff identify themselves with or as? Do they need a name? Should I name them? Should you name yourselves? I don't know how this works. So I reached out a few weeks ago to Twitter and I said, we need a name. What's our team name? And someone came back with a suggestion that I thought was really cool. And it, I'll write it down for you because it's a very difficult thing to explain. While I'm finding a pen and paper, I want to show you the new fish. Come on. So, look, we've got a whole ecosystem happening. There's a little clown fish. Hello, Mr. Clown. Aren't you happy? Oh, please get me out of this tank. It's okay. That's where you'll live forever. And then there's these guys who, I don't know if you can see them. They're not nearly as exciting. That blue guy just kind of hangs out and chases around the clownfish and is kind of mean. And then this guy, he also is not that interesting. But look at how cool the clownfish is. Hello. All right, so. Ugh. I did not find a pen and paper at all, so I'm not going to write it down, but here's the word. Here's, it's a new word. It's an imaginary word. And the word is swerg. And that stands for Superman sock wearing, unicorn riding gangsta. And I believe that that's what we are. And I believe that's what I am. And I believe that's what our team should be. So let us enter into this Super Note contest with fervor and let us get our swerg on. Ladies and gentlemen, hold your notes. Please post them as a video response to this video. Have a wonderful week. And I'll see you next Monday. It's time to swerg. Bye. I 
can't go yet. I have one last thing. I forgot that I wasn't going to do any viewer mail this week, but I have time and the interest and the uh, joy to open this giant piece of viewer mail! I took the liberty of writing our new team name on it so you can see it. Swerg. S-W-U-R-G. Superman sock wearing unicorn riding gangsters. That's what we are. That's what we can be. That's what we can do. I always want to be careful because you never know one errant rip and the whole thing could be... Ah! I see a letter. Maybe this includes some sort of a key to open this very large secure object. The letter says, Dear Nice Peter, my niece Brenna and I have continued to watch the Monday show and have greatly enjoyed it. Well, thank you very much. I continue to try to open your package and greatly enjoy it. In this large box is a large poster. We spent a lot of time and effort on this poster. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to check out the cloth sunflower on the back, which we made using a glue gun, and we have the burn marks to prove it. You don't have to burn yourself on my account, but that's what swergs do. They get burnt. Keep up the good work. Blessings, Grant and Brenna. All right, well, thank you very much, Grant and Brenna. I will open this large, lovely package as soon as I can. Physically muster up the strength. <laughs> I hope you do enjoy the new rap battle. It was a work of great, uh, great, great effort and pride, just like this, this package was. It's very important for the Swerg uh, community to put effort into the things that they seek out to do, because that's really all it takes to do anything you want. Uh, I put up a new video, well hopefully I do, put up a new video of me playing the song Killer Queen on my ra main channel, and uh, it was really hard. I've been practicing Killer Queen every day for like three months. It's not something I can just do. It's something I set out to do and then work really hard at, and it was just like exercising. It's hard, but if you keep going and you realize that there's people who believe in you, and I personally believe in you, so we can do anything. <laughs> This is quite, quite the thing already. This is, this is already a diorama of extreme proportions. Oh yeah! This is like a whole new, look, I could have a whole new Monday show with just this as the background. Hello, welcome to the Little Monday Show. My name is Dennis Peter and I'm glad that you're here. Oh, it's dark in here. I feel like this is a place to tell secrets. I have a secret, uh, I'm wearing shorts. Grant and Brenna, this is very lovely. Uh, this will have a, a wonderful place and a wonderful home. Uh, that'll be the new. That'll be the new booth for something. I'll use that for a wall of some sort. We can start a whole new segment of the Monday Show if we want, because that's what teams do. They pass the ball around and they explore new possibilities. Because together, people can do a lot of great things. So I'm glad that you're here together with me. Have a very nice week. I'll see you next Monday. Bye. Oh, yeah. Monday.